Good morning. A short video today. A quick tip to help the user experience here and accessibility, things like that. And I thought I'd illustrate a concept that I actually use in web systems, web databases that I develop, but that has long existed and been available for us to use in Access. And that is, how do we highlight the active control that the user is in, so then it's more obvious to them where the cursor is currently placed? Um, it's very simple to do, and all I'll do here is I'll start off with a blank database. And I'm just going to do it by creating a new form. Obviously, you can apply this to existing forms. The exact same thing works. So form design. I'm just going to throw in a couple controls. And it really doesn't make a difference. So you can add whatever makes you happy. So you have a form that has controls. That's all we need. You select the ones that you want to apply this to. You go into formatting, conditional formatting. And here we'll create a new rule. And the important thing is right here, field is value. No, we want field has focus. And then you can change the formatting to however you like. Typically what I've found works best from feedback from my clients has always been to change the background color. Um, none of these are very good. I, I suggest you come into either the standard or the custom and go find something a little bit easier on the eye. And you just, okay, okay, get out of all of the dialogues, save what you've done. And now, as easy as that, when you move your cursor around, it highlights the active control for the user so they know exactly where the cursor is at that point in time. And it's that easy to do. I hope this quick tip helps a few of you out there. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next video. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and share. Thanks a lot, guys.